It was three days before Christmas. I just bought a toy for my nephew. He was three years old and in love with a popular TV show, Sesame Street. His favorite character was Elmo. You know, the red hairy puppet with an annoying voice. Yeah, that Elmo. I actually have a confession. I didn't really buy the present per se. I actually found it and cleaned it. I found an old Elmo doll in the dumpster, and you may ask, what the heck was I doing in a dumpster? Well, my nephew was three, and I didn't feel like spending money. So I just rummaged for something neat. This old Elmo doll was very dirty. It had mud on it, and the eye was cracked a bit. But when I washed it, it was perfect. The only thing different was the doll was more red than the original Elmo. It was like blood red. Pfft, I'll screw it. He wouldn't care. I put the doll in a box and wrapped it. To James from Uncle Lewis. Ah, oh, there we go. I threw it on the couch and turned on TV. Three days later, Christmas was already here. Ah, oh, hell. I hope he likes it. If not, I'm gonna hear it from my sister. Anyways, James had gotten a Hot Wheels car. Choking hazard. Crayola markers with coloring book. Like, that's a good idea. And Aunt Krista. Aunt Krista always had to top the other gifts. She got him a almost life-size Big Bird doll. Bull freaking horse crap. You know, Aunt Krista pees me off a lot. Well, my gift was up. I tossed a present into James' lap, and my sister gave me a look. James tore open his present and pushed away the Big Bird Mountain and hugged the Elmo doll. The look on Aunt Krista's face was priceless. Thanks, Uncle Lewis, said my nephew. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. The next few weeks, I hung out a bit, took my vacation times at work. I haven't heard from my sister in a while, and I gave her a call. She didn't answer. I guess she was at work or something. I called some of my friends because I was pretty bored. We all got together at a sports bar and got some drinks. On the TV in the bar, breaking news came on. A home was broken into, and items and materials were destroyed. A dog was murdered, and his head was ripped off and stuck in the oven. Uh, <laughs> what? Then I dropped my glass, and it busted on the ground. It was my sister's house. I grabbed my car keys and left the bar and drove right the heck to my sister's house. She was sitting on her porch, holding James as he cuddles the Elmo doll. My sister was on the phone, and she hung up and pushed me. Well, my house is effed up and I need a place to stay. I sighed and invited her to my place to live at while the insurance was paying up the damage, I guess. I don't know. James fell asleep on my couch and held on the Elma doll. My sister left for work and I had to babysit James. I, I dozed off a while and when I had awoken, my laptop was destroyed. It had a huge crack in it and the disc insert thingy was broken off. What the heck? James had apparently broken it. I grabbed a hold of James and spanked him. He cried and dropped the doll and ran into the guest room. I sighed and fell back on my couch. I grabbed the doll and viewed it a while. I pushed the voice button it had on its hand and it replied, Ha 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 ha, tickle me. I smiled and felt sorry for my nephew. He was only three. He didn't know better. I glanced at my laptop and got an angry look in my face. But just then, the Elmodaw replied without me pressing the button. It said, Tell him? I 
dropped the doll with surprise. My mouth opened. I pressed the button again, and it replied, Ha 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 ha, let's play a game. I pressed it again and again, and it replied the same thing, to tickle him and play a game. I must be hearing things. I threw the doll on the ground and went to comfort James. I put him to bed and lied down next to him. Then all of a sudden I... Alright, what happened? Well, we found two bodies in the fire. Can you identify the bodies? Uh, yes. It was a man named Lewis and a little boy named James. How did this fire start? Well, we were searching through the house and we found a doll in the oven. Apparently, the oven was on for about an hour and a half. And something weird happened. And then boom. Fire. An explosion. Huh. Can I see the toy? Oh uh, yes. It's a uh, Fisher-Price animal doll. This is what's left of it. Hmm. What's this button do?